could you tell us something of the wisdom of zakat whenever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribes anything in the quran but natural it has certain wisdom and many reasons and there are various verses in the quran and the hadith in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger has given us the wisdom for zakat number 1 is to perfect one's faith as the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that zakat makes your faith perfect and i mentioned earlier that it is one of the pillars of islam and the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in sahih bukhari volume number 1 in the book of faith hadith number 8 that islam is based on five pillars the first is to say there's no god but allah and prophet muhammad is the messenger of allah number 2 establishing of salah number 3 is giving of zakat number 4 is performing hajj and number 5 is fasting in the month of ramadan so it makes our faith perfect number 2 reason for zakat is that it purifies and cleanses our wealth as one of the meanings of zakat is to purify to clean so it cleans our wealth from the impurities and therefore it makes halal for us Number three is it increases. As the Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number four, hadith number 6264, that charity does not decrease our wealth. Actually, it increases our wealth. And zakat prevents you from calamity, saves you from loss in fire, and various other things. So indirectly, it increases your wealth. And one of the meaning of zakat is also blessings and goodness. So point number 4 zakat brings blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Point number 5 is that it cleanses your character. It makes your character better. It prevents you from being a miser and it makes you a generous person. Point number 6 it makes your heart feel good. The thing you love and if you give that especially if you give wealth it brings the joy in you especially if it's giving out of willingness if it's not given out of willingness it's given out of reluctance then you won't feel happy so it brings the joy in your heart is the person who gives zakat furthermore it is a sign of belief giving zakat is a sign of belief and a beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam It mentions Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the Book of Faith, Hadith number 13. The Beloved Prophet said that a Muslim is not a true believer until he wants for his Muslim brother the same thing what he wants for himself. And zakat will give you a way to paradise. It will make you enter Jannah. The Beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's a Sahih Hadith mentioned in Sahih Ibn Habban. volume number 8 hadith number 3438 a person comes to the messenger of allah and tells him that i believe in one god and no other god and believe that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of god and i establish prayers and i give zakat and i fast in the month of ramadan and i stand in prayers in the nights of ramadan what will happen to me so the prophet replies you will be among the siddiqoon among the pious people and among the shuhada among the martyrs so zakat that is will be in paradise so zakat is your way to salvation it's a way to paradise furthermore when you give zakat it brings a sense of unity throughout the people of the muslim ummah and as allah says in surah qasas chapter number 28 verse number 77 do the good as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done good to you so it brings a sense of belongingness amongst the muslims of the world and if rich gives to the poor then he cares for him a person who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with bounties gives to a person who's needy so it brings the sense of belongingness furthermore point number 10 when you give zakat to the poor it prevents the poor from revolting towards you when the poor may see that there are rich people in the world who have got beautiful vehicles to travel in they have got big houses they have got luxury so 
it may bring a sort of revolt. The moment you care for them and give them zakat, the revolt in them is prevented. Point number 11, it even prevents stealing and robbing. With a person who does not get his basic needs, it may force him to steal or rob. So when zakat is given, the basic need of the poor people are taken care of, so it prevents stealing and robbing and uplift the whole society. Point number 12, it brings sincerity. Because when we give something which we love, we give it away. You can only give it away for a cause which is equally lovable to you or something which is better. So it shows your faith and love in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore the word sadka, the word sadka comes from sitk, which means sincerity. So it shows the sinceness in a person. And point number 13, zakat prevents the calamity from the heaven coming onto the earth. Point number 14, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, it's mentioned in Sahih Hadith of Musnad Ahmad, Hadith number 17333, the beloved Prophet said, that on the day of resurrection, your charity will be a shade for him. That means the person who gives charity, it will be a shade for him on the day of resurrection. Our beloved Prophet also mentioned, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Adan, Hadith number 660, the beloved Prophet said that on the day of resurrection, seven categories of people will have Allah's shade. The beloved Prophet said that seven categories of people will have Allah's shade. And his shade will be the only shade that will protect the people. And amongst them, one category is those who give charity secretly so that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand gives. So, giving charity, giving zakat, will give you the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of resurrection. Further, it's mentioned in Sayyidullah al Sayyah, Hadith number 1908, the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that charity, that is zakat, charity given in secret extinguishes the wrath of the Lord. And further, the beloved Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sayyid Hadith of Tirmidhi, Hadith number 2616, that Zakat extinguishes sins the same as water extinguishes fire. So this was the wisdom why Zakat has been prescribed for the Muslims by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.